Today, the message is going to be simply called, Let's Go. Everybody look at someone next to you and say, Let's Go. Oh, that's nice. Dana! Dana! Dana had that. I don't know where you got that picture of me from. Because I kind of try to keep it on the down low. Now, honestly, that is me. That is me. In my mind, that is me. When I get to heaven, I'm going to have that same body. But somebody scream, let's go. go. It's time for us to move. We have been prepared for this forward mobility every Sunday and every Wednesday in house and in your personal prayer and study you have been prepared for your future oh that was a weak amen you are not prepared just to sit idly by after getting all the word that you've gotten and let life just pass you by it's time for you to make the most of your days that are left here on this earth it's time to go into your future even if you go in a little fearful it is no problem and it's no shame going in with a, t- with, a mi- uh, with a modicum of fear because fear is not wrong. It causes you to be cautious. The spirit of fear consumes you and God has not given you a spirit of fear but fear is an emotion that's a part of us. And sometimes we use that scripture to keep, to, as an excuse to keep us from going into our responsibility. Amen. Amen. And well, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. No, 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 no. I do know. And it's time to go. It's time. My future is sitting back with its arms folded, waiting on me. I don't hear anybody. The Bible said in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, said the earnest expectation of all creation is waiting. The expectation of all creation is waiting for us to manifest and go forward. This is going to be harder than I thought, Lord. The earnest expectation of all creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Meaning everything in earth that has been placed here for our benefit and our future is waiting on us. The expectation of that which is created waiting on us is, 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 is holding up, holding in a cycle waiting for us to get our act together and get moving. No, no, no. I'm going to preach this if I deal with one person. I will preach this if I'm dealing with one person. You have got to realize that Christianity is not a place of dormancy and stagnation. Christianity is not supposed to be a place where a bunch of people just come and sit around and and, and languish away and let life pass you by. And, you know, they used to teach us some crazy stuff. They used to teach us that if you was rich, then you was wicked. They used to teach us all all that kind of stuff, you know. Oh, look at them with all that. That's That's wickedness. And they taught us a sense of poverty. And we would hear testimony after testimony about sickness and people that are sick with my condition and all. You know, pray for me with my condition and all. And and the more sick you were, the more holy somehow. The more impoverished you were, the more sanctified you was. Amen. If you put on a little bit of rouge, Jezebel. Don't you put on no, 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 no earrings. That's a devil. Y'all sitting up here now with your hair all braided up. They said braided hair was of the devil. Anybody remember? Amen. You out here with your arms out and, and your neck showing. That's a devil. You cover your neck up. Put on them long sleeves. 
Put a hat or a doily on your head. Don't you come in there with no britches on if you ain't no man. And don't you come in there with no dress on that's, that's, that, that's above your knees. Couldn't be on your knees. Couldn't be on your calf. Had to be at your ankles. How many of you remember? For the sake of those that think I'm making this up. Couldn't go to the amusement park. And if you did finally get a chance to go, you had to wear a long denim a long denim skirt down to your shin. You always knew the Christians at the amusement park because they looked mad. And they was hot all the time. Amen. Don't you put an eyelash on. Don't you put no eyelashes on. You sitting up here looking like a harlot with eyelashes. You know those ain't your eyelashes. God gave you eyelashes. Be proud of the eyelashes God gave you. Couldn't go to the movies because they said you were sitting in the seat of the scornful. Does anybody remember? Couldn't play with Monopoly because there was dice in the Monopoly. Does anybody remember this? Amen. You couldn't breathe without sin. Glory to God. And, and there, there, there were so many different things that happened and so many different uh, dogmas. They weren't doctrinal. It was dogmatic that bound people up and made them think that the only thing they could do was go to work go home and go to church that's all you could do go to work and on your lunch break go in the bathroom and speak in tongues come home eat a meal watch Carol Burnett because they did let you watch Carol Burnett and for some of you older people, watch the stories. Couldn't go to the movies, but y'all could watch the stories. Y'all know Erica Kane personally. And the young people are going, what? You couldn't do anything. Elder Davis told us that we couldn't play with marbles because the Bible said marble not. Y'all think a brother's making this up. I'm not being Dave Chappelle up here. I'm telling you the truth. That's what they raised us up to believe that all we could do was go to work, school, come home, and go to church. And, and I realized that they did the best they could with the little knowledge that they had. I don't condemn it. But I do know that there's more to Christ and there's more to life. I ain't, my, my life is not going to church because I am the church. I didn't hear anybody here. You don't go to church, you are the church. The church is the blood washed called out people who have bowed their knee to the lordship of Jesus Christ. We are the living, talking, walking, breathing, walking advertisement and billboard of God's grace. We are the church. Let the church say amen. amen. And at this point in life, it's time for us to make up for lost time. It is time for us to move forward. And as the Lord gave me this last night, and I laid on the bed, and he gave me Joshua 3, 
And it's a very familiar passage of scripture, Joshua 3 and 1. If you give me, Bobby put 15 minutes, no, that's good, 26 minutes is good. That's all I need. I almost, I almost sure changed myself. But in the book of Joshua, the third chapter, Christians, get this. You've heard this scripture before. But this is a motivational message today to get you up and going into your divine purpose. No more excuses. No more broke mentalities. No more resistance. No more I surrender some. That was spot on. That was spot on. But in the book of Joshua, the third chapter, the first verse, it simply says this, and Joshua rose up early, early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim, the children of Israel removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan. He and every one of the children of Israel, and they lodged in Jordan there, I, I missed that, and they lodged in Jordan there before they passed over. Hallelujah. And it came to pass after three days that the elders, the ministers, the pastors, the leaders, the department heads, that the elders, I'm trying to talk to you all, that, that, that the officers went through the host. And they commanded the people saying, when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and when you see the priests, the pastor and the priests and the Levites bearing that ark, then you shall remove from your place and do what? And go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it. About 2,000 cubits by measure. Don't come near unto it that you may know the way by which you should and must go. For you have not passed this way before. <laughs> you have not gone to the level that God has taken you to. You have not passed this way before. You prepared for it, but you've never gotten there. You believe for it, but you're on your way to it now. And now you've got to be very careful, and you've got to be very intentional, and you can no longer drag your feet, but you've got to get excited about your future. You've got to believe God for what he's about to show you and what he's taking you into. You are not remaining the same, and you will not languish in that situation you are moving forward and you will not allow anybody or anything to hold you back you have been held back by people's opinion too long you have been living in other people's memory for too long you've been afraid of what people think about you for too long it's time for you to break ties and dust yourself off from their opinion and get yourself ready because when you see the ark of the covenant when you see God taking perfecting faith into another spiritual direction you've got to be able and ready to pick up and move along with it. Somebody say, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It is time for us to be uncomfortable. It's time for us to get uncomfortable. Uncomfortable not knowing our purpose. Uncomfortable not moving into our future. Uncomfortable not having what God promised. It's time for us to get uncomfortable. Uncomfortable being, being, being marginalized. Uncomfortable not having the power to move into what God called us to succeed in. We got to get uncomfortable with just meager fare. We got to get uncomfortable with just a meager existence. There's got to be more. He made some exceeding precious promises. And every promise of God in Christ is yea and in him amen. And if he's saying yay and amen, it's time for us to live in the yay and the amen. I'm trying to get through, us. I'm trying to get through. It's time for us to live in the yay and the amen. And if God says yes, then I cannot be denied. If God says amen, then it is. So it is and so it shall be. 
If God has given his stamp of approval, then I'm going to live up to that stamp. I'm going to have what he said I could have, and I'm going to be who he said I'm going to be. But I got to get up from where I am, and I've got to move into where he is. Somebody say, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Now, we need to learn how to discard some things. Hallelujah. You got to learn how to discard some things. When you're about to take a journey, you don't put dirty clothes into this, this suitcase moving into a, a journey. You, 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 you got to change and you got to get rid of those dirty clothes and you got to put on fresh clothes and, and pack fresh things that will cause you to be ready for where you're about to traverse to. I don't hear anybody. We're not taking old things into where we're going right now. We're not taking old dirty thoughts and, and old broken mentalities and old struggling fears. We're not taking that into where we're going. We're not taking our excuses with us. We're not taking our reasons why we can't do. We are no longer making excuses that negate who God's called called us to be we are standing strong in his promise and even if our knees are shaken we're still standing there and moving forward and not allowing any more time to slip by who am I talking to in this room I'm tired of just preaching and you looking at me like a picture poster I want you to understand the message that God gave me is created for you that are sitting you that are sitting stagnant you that are sitting dormant it's time for you to shake yourself and get ready for the journey into your success it's time to move let's go it's time to move it's time to move the one thing in traveling that gets on my nerves more than anything else is when I'm ready to go, somebody's lagging behind. When I'm trying to catch that scheduled flight and somebody's lagging behind, that'll make you mad because if I miss that flight, I'm gonna miss my time at that destination. And I'm about to wait for the next flight. I'm not waiting for another flight. Because I'm going with. Somebody better hear what I'm saying. Elder Dakota, we're going with or without people. Because I'm not going to allow my time to be wasted with people who are not taking this seriously. I am seriously on a journey and I am serious about my success. I'm serious about pleasing God. I'm serious about accomplishing his purpose. I'm serious enough to leave you if I have to. You better look at your neighbor and say, I love you, but I'll leave you. I love you, but I, if, you, if you slow up, I'll leave you. Because when that ark comes through the camp and you see the priest bearing it, he said, get up from where you are and go after it. Go after it. And those that slow up, tell them the story once you get to where you're going. But don't you let anything keep you from where you are called to be. Look at somebody and say, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Because there's a destiny waiting for me. There's a destiny that is exciting and new waiting for me to get my act together and to get on the road called success. What is success? Obedience to God is success. You better hear me. Because what does it profit to gain the whole world? Lose your soul. So the things are not success. But it's the obedience to God that is a success. And the way I'm moving now, I can't slow up. The way I'm going now, I can't deter. I gotta stay on the road he put me on. And I gotta start moving at a faster clip. 
because I'm already gassed up. I'm already had my tune up. I'm already prepared. Y'all don't hear me. After all the word that you've received, you're already gassed up. Out of all the praying that you've done, you're already tuned up. Now it's time to get on the road and to move forward. I don't hear you. It's time for you to get your act together. Get yourself moving. And understand that if nobody else approves this, God has already said yes. God has already put the stamp on it. Oh God, I'm about to run. Melissa, I'm about to run right now. Because there's, there, there, there's a move going on. Can't you see it? Right in this church, we are at full capacity. On this Sunday, we are almost back to normal. But not to be normal, but to exceed normal. And to go strong into our tomorrow. Who am I talking about? Who am I talking to? <laughs> I feel excited about this thing because I'm not traveling with lazy people anymore. Only those that want to go, only those that have a mind to work, only those that have a commitment to God, those are the people I'm traveling with. We're singing the same songs and we're walking the same road and we're obeying the same God and there is unity in this thing and we will see the miraculous happen. Oh, we will see God do great things. We will see God expand us. God is stretching some of us. We're doing what we've never done before. God is calling us to a greater ministry, calling us to a greater purpose and what you thought you could not do before. God is challenging you now. He says, agree with me and you'll do things that you've never ever thought of. Sanctify! <laughs> he said, if you agree with me, you'll do things that you've never done before. I feel like I'm preaching and my time is up in Joshua 3 verse 5 he said Joshua said to the people get ready to move Joshua said to the people prepare yourself for the journey Joshua said to the people purify your hearts and minds Joshua said to the people get away from people that are talking you out of your ministry Joshua said to the people cut off all those people that are holding you back because this is going to be a real journey I don't hear anybody here this is going to be a real journey cut loose be free from people who don't want to move Joshua said sanctify 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 that means prepare yourself for a holy purpose sanctify yourself for tomorrow look at somebody say I'm moving tomorrow 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 the Lord y'all ain't reading that screen tomorrow the Lord is gonna work wonders y'all quiet I just gave you the promise of God and you sitting there like you didn't hear the punchline sanctify yourself because we're on the move for tomorrow for in the next days to come God <laughs> I gotta walk again I gotta walk again Wow, God! For tomorrow, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is going to work 
wonders among you but only those who are on the move only those who go after it you'll see the wonders of God as you go after it as you let go of your anchor and move into the deep waters walk into your journey who am I talking to somebody put a praise on it right here that ain't no praise Oh, children, I gotta go. But I want you to understand this is the day of your destiny. This is the day of your purpose. Take it seriously and get ready to move. Look at three people say, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Where he leads. Let's go, let's go. Wherever he leads. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I will follow. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I don't. I bet you don't want me. I know the history of perfecting faith church. But I cannot live in the history. I remember the history to get to my destiny. My history will not prevent my destiny. But I can only get to my destiny by moving on from my history. can only get to my destiny. By moving on into my history. I can only get to my destiny by, by moving on from my history. The Bible says that when the officers went through the camp, they told them, when you see the priests, the Levites, with the Ark of the Covenant. Now, let me explain that. The Ark of the Covenant was a vessel, but it really represents the presence of God. When you see the ministry moving in the presence of God, don't be dormant. Don't be quiet. Don't sit back and let that time pass you by <laughs> because of what people may think about you. They're always so loud. I don't understand them. It doesn't take all of that. If that's what you believe, keep on. But watch me while I go forward. You you don't have to. You don't have to if you don't want to. But watch us as we go. And the us know who you are. You decide whether you're us. <laughs> oh my God. Watch us, Pastor, as we go, as we go forward. As we go into our destiny. No, 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 no. I would to God that the whole church would hear this in-house and online. I would to God that the whole church would hear that and get so inspired that this place could never hold us as we move forward. That everyone would come to play and would be ready for the next dimension no here there are people that God has ordained to be anointed for the next dimension because you cried in your past but you didn't let go 
No, I don't mean let, let's go. You didn't let go of your faith. You, you hurt, but you didn't let go. Hallelujah. You, you stayed in the word and you stayed believing even though tears fell. Even though tears fell, you held on. You prayed and you watched God. And even though you didn't see it happen right away, you kept the faith. And you kept your prayer life strong and your faith remained strong. And you, and you refused to be uh, uh, refused and you denied to be denied. And, and you, you, you believed that one day, one day the anointing is going to be on me and destroy every yoke. And one day the calling of God is going to be so strong. The calling of God is going to be so strong. One day the doors are going to open. One day the road will be made plain. One day I'll be free from the anchor of my yesterday. One day I'll be able to move into who God's called me to be. I've been doing for a long time, but now I'm about to become. One day, well I got news for you. Today is your one day. Mm, I heard that, I heard that, I heard that faith cry. I heard that faith cry. Today is your one day. Today is the day that the chain that anchored you to your past is destroyed and broken. Today is the day that the yoke that held you around your neck and limited your moving is destroyed because of the anointing. Today is the day that your creativity and the ministry rises up in you. Today is the day where you lose your mentality of poverty and move into prosperity. Today is the day that you look at those who believe with you and you say, let's go. Let's go into our future. Perfecting faith, let's go. Let's go into our destiny. Each of you individually, let's go. There's much more work to be done. Hallelujah. For your family, let's go. We have lived under a curse long enough. It's time for us to live in the generational blessings. Let's go. Take all that's precious to you and move. Let's go. Use your obedience to his will and let's go. Let go of people holding you back and let's go. Grab a hold of people that are moving in the same direction and let's There's deliverance ahead. Let's go. There's healing ahead. Let's go. There's prosperity ahead. Let's go. There's salvation for your loved ones ahead. Let's go. There's joy ahead. You can leave the pain behind. Let's go. There's peace ahead. You don't have to worry anymore. Let's go.